I mean, usually after a couple attempts of like tinkering and stuff like that, you can figure it out, like what's causing it. But I got nothing right now, especially since I, I played it for like five hours the other like yesterday without any issue. It's my thought is one of two things. It's the mode that it's in, meaning like this, the difficulty that it's on and how I'm playing the game. Um, or there is, I'm trying to think of the other thing that might be causing it. Or it's, it's, it's just having issues with certain missions or certain quests. Those are the, kind of the only things I can think of. I mean, I'm getting 110 FPS right now, which is pretty good for this game. Um, don't know. Don't know why it keeps crashing. That's a big, that's a big wolf. Dodge you for a second. What's the noise about? She's trying to rob me. Huh. I warn you, soldiers Oops. are coming to escort me any minute. This merchant is taking supplies to the castle. Oil for boiling, arrows, shields, rations. I offered to buy them, but he refuses. I don't sell on a future promise of profit. Edwin's a valuable customer. Then I'll make you a new offer. How about a story? I'll spin you a tail in exchange for your wares. That's an odd bargain, Dane, but I'll bite. Sing me one of your sagas. <laughs> the wild winds wandered. The seas spit salt. The night fell into slumber. Wise Odin rose and bade farewell. He pulled on boots of leather. Bit of a slow start. Pick it up. Long before, before the beginning, before you and I and the others, wise Odin looked with his one wan eye and stared and blinked and thundered. Uh, this Odin fella, he's one of your gods, isn't it? The moon burns red, the sea foams gold. Wise Odin utters the words. Right, this is not what I wanted. Stop it, will you? The snake writhes, Loki yawls, what? poison drips from the mouth. Enough, enough! Is this some sort of Nordic curse? Run! Go! How does it end? They all die. Yeah, I kind of blew one of these up by accident. You can use these oil jars to surprise them. Fewer reinforcements for Edwin. I see visions of burning men. The screams of soldiers aflame. If we place the oil and supplies near the hay along the road, it will burn like hellfire when the soldiers arrive. Take position on that bluff, and watch for the soldiers, would you? <laughs> You'll hear me howl as the men approach. Okay. God's hair are vigilant. Okay, so we're just putting these things by the hay. Little jars on the main road. Never see it. Uh, we good? I think we're good, right? What was that? 
my howl. Edwin's men approach. I see him. Toss this straight down. Prepare yourself. The soldiers are close. It's quite a bit. Mm-hmm. Taking their sweet time here. Come on. And I'm out of arrows. Out of oil, though. I'm with you. Attack. Burn. All right, spear guy. Coming for your shield bearer. Okay, no, I'm not. is like crazy oh oh goodbye now what would we okay, I gotta follow her to the cliff top the cliff top oh okay This kind of red weird. That's the last of them. Edwin will be waiting for aid that never comes. Something wrong? No, no, quite the opposite. At Sancte Albanes, your brother claimed kinship with the gods. Is it true? Is he descended from the Archon's children, the Isu? Oh, the Isu. Blunt, Fulcain, but only half of what you say ever makes any sense to me. <laughs> Forgive me. I often presume too much of my audience. Men who fear damnation, when ignorance is the greatest of all evils. Ignorance of what? What a perfect sentence. I'll ask more simply. Could your brother be descended of the god? Or could he be a god himself? You've spent too much time locked in that fed itself, okay? Weeks of fasting and prayer and abstinence can clarify that which we otherwise fail to see. <laughs> Sigurd is only a man, the son of a king and my brother. He may think highly of himself, but he's no god. Yet it's possible his line of kings was fathered by a god in ages past. We haven't time for these fantasies, Fulke. It's time I regroup with Gidrich. To see how his assault preparations are coming along. Godspeed, Eivor. I will stay here to pray for the souls of the dead before I join. Alright, 
right, so now we gotta go almost cracking 200. I gotta go all the way around, that's right. Well, at least I'm opening everything up. Okay, so two, one more level, two more levels. Yeah, two more levels. Speak to Godric. Where's he at? Let's see you, old friend. It's in the middle. Have you dealt each with a few bruising blows? I have. She'll feel the pain soon enough. Excellent. My men are itching to attack the fortress, but we'd be fools to force it now. Why is that? On account of Edwin's got too many traps and defenses. Her springles cut us to bloody stumps before they poured boiling oil upon us like a summer tempest. <laughs> Keep the men at the ready. I'll slip in alone and see what I can do about these defenses. By my joints and ankles, you're a tough one. All right, so now we gotta destroy old oil cauldrons. Can we just beat this place down? Sabotage and destroy the oils, all right. Can we, tr like, is there a way to track this? Oh, wow, they're all the way in there. All right, so we got to go around. The castle keep looks impregnable. That will be Eaton's last stand. All right, so we gotta get. Have a look, Sunin. One, two, three. Is there anything else? Four. All right, there's a lot of these places apparently. Where are you? All right, I'm in. Are you serious? Nothing to All see right, here. I'm in. We're good. All right, so there's one like right Show me. here. So the ballistas, or most of the ballistas, are down. What am I looking for down there? What's that? Is there another one I can't see?
Give me the arrows. Zunin, guide me. We're good. This blueberry climbing up the wall, no big deal. Okay, so we're good on that spot. Show me what lies ahead. Got one of the oil pieces. Yeah. Are there ballistas on the ground, maybe, that I just can't see? Oh, there it is. There's one. I see it. Like right on the other opposite angle of this. I can't even see that. Where in the heck? This might be out of range. I'm not sure. I see it down there, but there's more to be done. But this should be enough to launch the assault. Now it's down to Gidrich to lead his men. Wait, so is this guy coming in, or oh, we gotta return to him. Never mind. Nice. Yeah, let's just hang out. Now we're good. I'm out of here. My wolf is floating again. Okay, we're good. I think he's trying to fly away, honestly, but I mean, that's cool. Who's was wanted a flying wolf? Man, there's a lot to do here. I only got 2% done so far. I say we wait. There's too much riding on this. I am Sigurd Jarl, Lord of East Mercia, and I say we fight. Now. Jurg. Oh god, here we go. He's kind of being an ass. <laughs> Lately. Have you laid your pole to Hazel and composed your poems for this coming victory? I am here to speak with Giedrich. Go on, then. Your master awaits. Still dreaming of your precious stone? It is not dreams that led me here, Eivor. I've had visions. Prophecies from the gods. Visions? I'll sacrifice to Tyr this day. The Lord of Justice. The harbinger of flawless victory. Sigurd. What prophecies? Are we ready to assault the castle, Eivor? The sign's importance read well. We're ready. Give the command. Good. And let's be quick about it. My scouts tell me a force of King Alfred's men is on the march. Let's end this before that flat-mouthed pudding has a chance to hit back. Flat-mouthed pudding, okay.
<laughs> okay. I was wondering what this was. We got a crew, nice. You're the guardian of the bridge. Not anymore. Hey, look what I did. Who's next? Sure. Look at these guys. Try to get these arrow dudes. Wait, did, didn't I just get all these guys? Guys, stop. Who am I missing here? Seriously? That thing's knocked out. Nice. All right, we're going up. We're not. <laughs> Just hang out on the wall. All right, how do I open this thing? Oh, I missed it. Okay, let's go back up. I'm con I'm kind of confused. What? Hello. They got it. So many archers. Yes. 
There we go. Okay, good. I don't have to confirm the kill on the rock. We're good. Woo. You felled the lofty lady. Do what you must, Thane of Dungheap. Jung heaps loyal to her shire and her people. I know which of us God favors. Eivor bested you. It's for Eivor to decide your fate. Ooh. Um. Hmm. Heal her wounds. Dress her in rags. And send her out into the heath in exile. You are banished from Mercia. Without family. Without rank. Without friends to comfort you. I will walk the roads until my feet are bloody, dreaming of cutting out your rotten lungs. Take her away. I fulfilled my promise to you. I trust you will do the same. An oath between our people. Aye, you've done us well, Eivor. I thank you. And if ever you need the like, I'll do what I can. I will. Count on it. I'd be quick about plundering. King Alfred will be on his way. And he won't be alone. Uh oh, the guy's freaking out. Apparently the Franks had some success with towers at Riverbends and fortified bridges. That could work, but it'd take a lot of mana. Please be a chess piece. <laughs> Kind of like a chess piece, but... Okay, what do I gotta do? Regroup? I think I looted everything. That was the last gear piece. I was hoping for a chess piece, but... It's all good. So we gotta regroup. Is that back at Raventhorpe? No? Where am I going? What am I doing? Where am I going? Oh, maybe they're up. I don't know. Where are they? Upstairs, maybe? through this doorway once before but Sigurd in a dream not once a thousand times a thousand I feel like Basim is a uh, suspect Say, Sigurd, does it speak to you? Yes, but the words are fogged, shadowed, and yet I, I feel their meaning. And the ash tree, I see the great tree of life, her boughs reaching skyward, opening the way. It's just as you promised, Basim. 
all you foretold was true. Eivor, I am more than I appear to be. So much more. This is wicked magic, Sigurd. Dark Seder. Do not listen. No. This is real. This is everything. To the walls! To the walls! Alfred's come. King Alfred of Wessex. Marching up the rise with a mess of soldiers. Have we time to escape? The men are spent. We've not a chance in blazing hell. A parley, then. We must call a parley. I will speak. And the King of Wessex will listen. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> That's enough. Your name is not spoken with affection here in Mercia. Yet I am close enough to Wessex to hear myself praised from morn till twilight. <laughs> Return to your singing subjects then. Leave the affairs of Mercia to the Danes. But for your pagan war songs are safely out of hearing. Offer an exchange. Please, Lord. Her secret's here. Bethant is here, my lord. Best exchange man. My best warrior for yours to prove peace. After which you leave Mercia, and we fall back north of River Ouse. These terms are fair. Wolfrich, my war thane. Yeah, I guess seen you better. You will go with Giedrich, brother. Name your man. Sigurdjo, I offer myself. Thank you, Basin. King Alfred, wait. Hmm. Paladin Fulke. Are you with this company? I was, my lord. To recover from Edwin what was mine by right. Oh, so the plot thickens. He's the only man you need. He's worth more than 20 other men. He is the son of a king. Traitorous snake. And his heresies are profound, my lord. He claims to be a living god. I'll gut you, troll woman! I mean, we could probably fight I'll our way out, to be fair. To you, King Alfred. Because it is not my fate to die by your hand. Brother. Have faith. For the Lord God watches over you all. This man is dangerous, my lord. Let me hold him. Do what you must, but treat him with care. And we're just gonna walk out of here, right? By all the gods, Basim. Hey, Alex, what's going on, man? I will shadow them. The Doing all right. How about yourself? Oh, nice, nice. Did you get him on Steam? Or did you get him on, uh... Wait, so where are we going? I'm confused. Sorry. Or because of Black Friday, I guess, right? Going... Where exactly? Close. We close to auto loot. Damn it! So close. Worse than rabbit dogs. But we're way out there. Report to Ran Ranvi. Ranvi. That back at Ravenhold. Yeah.
Oh, it was off the PS Store? I was going to say, like, if you went to, like, GameStop or something, you'd probably be able to, like, just talk to the manager and be like, hey, I'm going to buy a couple of these. Can you guys hook it up? Sometimes people, sometimes the managers at GameStop are kind of cool like that. But I'm talking 10 years ago. <laughs> probably not the same anymore. She's not going to be happy that her husband's uh, been incarcerated. That's good. Oh, wait. Oh, that's awesome that you got it for three games. That you got three games for that price. I heard shouting. Is something wrong? Told you robbed me, and I demand he be punished. Ha! Rob disappointed word? Does the deer rub the stream when she takes a drink? Does a cow rub a field when he crops on sweet grass? Eivor, this matter requires sensitive judgment. Will you? I guess. <laughs> of course. From the beginning, please. Well now, there is no excuse too small, I see. Nothing to keep you from coveting that seat, is there? In Sigurd's absence, who has better claim to oversee these disputes? You might leave them to work it out for themselves, but that would mean letting go, would it not? <laughs> Please start again. Tell me all that has happened. I will start. I have been falsely accused by this Saxon Philistine. A Philly what? Are you mocking me? Silence, please. I will hear both of your complaints and render a decision, awarding compensation if needed. Understood? Rowan, tell me your version of these events. Huh. I don't know what year. I forgot. Holger and I are neighbors. Near enough that I often catch him at my stables, stealing my tools. Borrowing. Holger, let him speak. Stealing, borrowing. My point being, I have always allowed him to use whatever he pleased. I greatly admire your Norse generosity and had hoped to match it. But this morning, Holgier stretched the limits of my grace. Entering my stables for their feed, I found my most beautiful, gentle mare stripped of her tail. Bereft, not a strand in sight. I am ashamed to say my natural suspicion drew me to Holgier. Is it? Oh, that's right cool. I was. But when I peered across the lane, there he was, gripping a horsetail brush, slathered with indigo, dragging it across a sheet of painting, Rowan. I was painting. You make it sound so crude. You see? Such willful arrogance. It will take ages for Ilgafu's tail to reach its former length. I demand compensation. I understand. Thank you, Rowan. That's cool. I didn't know it took place then. 873 AD. So this is far, like, far, far after uh, Odyssey and Origins. Holger, let me hear your side. Eivor, you have known me as a skald for years. You have seen how my poems bring life and joy and wisdom to our people. And you know that my work requires a certain... Let us say, freedom to make use of rare resources to compose my verses. Often, when lacking the proper tools, I have made use of novel items. All this is walking stick, Toby's inks, all were given gladly. You cut off my horse's tail to make a brush, you bleed. Rowan? <laughs> As I was saying, this morning, in the throes of poetic reverie, I realized that my latest piece required delicate brushwork. I could have used a frayed stick, some cloth, my hands, but no. I needed something gentler, softer, to make a perfect brush. I needed the fine hairs of a well-raised horse. And so I availed myself of a local resource. You clipped Alcafer's tail to the rump! Without asking, it was early. I did not wish to wake you. 
Thank you, Holger. I'm kind of with the horse trainer on this one. Um, there's a uh, wait, oh, there's a series in Netflix called Last Known Kingdom, where season one. Yeah, aren't they doing? I thought they were doing an Assassin's Creed. I don't know if it was Netflix or HBO Plus. I forgot. It's all about the Vikings attack on England. So if you're into these games, definitely uh, check that show out. Okay. I know there's... Isn't there a show called Vikings as well? So you're saying there's a show called Last Kingdom. I know there's a show called Vikings and there's a show called Barbarians as well. I don't... I, You know, I know it sounds silly, but I don't know if the Vikings and the Barbarians show are s similar. I know they're two different groups, but I, I, I never know if they... You know, confuse it. It could be like barbarians could be like a fantasy thing. I have no idea. I believe I have heard enough. If you will, my horse. I'll check out Last Kingdom. I'll give it a look. No handsomer than a donkey now. You must do something. Do not conflate hair with beauty, Rowan. She remains radiant. Elgifer's hair will grow back in no time. Quiet, both of you. Now listen. I forgot who's who. Jet, hold on. Before I give my verdict, I would like to hear your statements again. Uh, I'm gonna say Rowan, right? Any weird beard mechanics lately? Um, yeah, there's been a few. I believe I have heard enough. If you will, my horse looks like a fool, Eivor. No handsomer than a donkey. Now. Oh, it's Rowan. You must do something. Rowan, yeah. Do not conflate hair with. Be quiet, both of you. Now listen. Olga, Rowan is clearly in the right. You shared the tail from his horse without gaining permission. I borrowed the tail. Borrowed. Does the reality of regrowth not make this a victimless crime? It is a two victim crime, Holger. Though they are unharmed, you took without asking, and that will not do. As the horse's value has diminished significantly, you will pay Rowan its market price. But the horse was not for sale. Rowan! Admit it! My decision is final, Holger. Pay what you owe, and meet tomorrow as friends. And if I do, may I keep the horse? Pay the man and be done with it. Rowan, does this satisfy you? It does. Thank you, Eivor. Good. Then by tears blessing, let this matter rest. We're done here. Return to your homes in peace. <laughs> no, nah, I've, I've just had a lot of crashes recently on this game. It's been kind of obnoxious. Um, it's been really, it's been really frustrating. Oh, hello, Eivor. Good day. Oh yeah, there we go. Beard mechanic. <laughs> there you go, Alex. Oh, uh, frustrating. Frustrating. And live with such petty concerns. He hasn't the care in the world. Let's not walk too far with that idea. I need you right where you are. Ranvi, our work is done in Oxenifertshire, but the cost has been high. I feared as much when this letter arrived, from one called Fulke, addressed to you. From Fulke? Gods, that witch. It is there on the table. Raise the beard. <laughs> um... I write to ease your mind and let you know that Seagird is in good hands. Fine company. I will treat him with all the care he deserves. The order to which I belong has use for such a man. He is in many ways the pinnacle of which we aspire. A god in man's fleshy accoutre accoutrements. I only hope that he comes to know and understand this as well as I do before his suffering breaks him. The instrument. Fulke is with the order of the ancients. The same order Chotre followed. The order that Basim and Haitham have pledged to destroy. Eivor, what has happened? Sigurd has been taken hostage, captured by King Alfred, and given to a woman named Fulke. A very dangerous woman. What does she want with him? I will spare you Fulke's ramblings, but know this. Sigurd did his part to secure an alliance with a thane called Gidrich. Gidrich is an honest man, and will come when I call. Until that time, Basim will locate Fulke. Look for his message when it comes. Some interesting news. 
King Cheolvul has sent Cheolbert to Shropshire. He hopes to install him as Elderman there. Good for Cheolbert. He should do well considering all he has learned from you. I gave him only a taste of my knowledge. The rest he will need to figure for himself. I don't know if it was an inten <clears throat> intentional or not, but you can tell like it almost looked like she got upset because her chest kept like her, her chest and her stomach kept breathing heavier. Um, so I was wondering, like, I don't know, is that? Yeah, now she's kind of normal. That's kind of a cool attention to detail. Um, let me see here. Yeah, what I meant was like obnox obnoxious being frustrated. It's it's just tough because like I spent a bunch of hours trying to fix the uh, the crash issue. I keep Googling and trying to figure out what possibly, you know, it's the standard, like, verify the game files, reinstall the game, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, this only seems to happen when you're playing story, like, the story aspect of the game. It'll just freeze and crash, and, like, it'll be like, oh, the game crashed, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and it won't give you an, like, it won't give you a reason. Let me see if there's another letter in here in his bedroom. Oh, look at you, Chewie. Oh. New letter. Uh, we'll see where where next we go. Randwi, are you well? You seem distant. I'm fine. Only a little tired, but well enough. Shall we look at the map? Not until you tell me what is wrong. Oh, I think I have. I feel somewhat trapped. In this room, in this settlement, in this life. I cannot help you with your life just now, but... I can get you out of this room. What do you say? I don't know. There is much work to be done. Stop. Forget about alliances and responsibility for just a few hours. We could take a ride to Grand Bridge or somewhere nearby for a change of pace. That sounds lovely and too far to consider just now. But thank you, Eivor. Maybe another time. Now, what was it you needed? I want to see the Alliance map. Right, where are we going next? Pledge of next. We got 55. Oh, we can improve the... Uh... Yes, right? I thought I I thought I went there. What did I do? Oh, we did here. Money. No, not there yet. We could do that one. Those Dane invaders. They came from East Anglia, is that right? Yes. Dane invaders who serve a man called Ruid. He seems to be sowing discord among Saxons and friendly Danes alike. Years ago, the sons of Ragnar hoped to pacify the land. They appointed a steward named Finnir to find a suitable Saxon king. But the kingdom has fallen into ruins since, with no king and violent raiders ravaging what little peace remains. I suggest you make for East Anglia and find out what their steward is doing wrong. I wonder who repairs this map ever after every time I stab it. I will make the trip east then. Speak to this Finnir myself. A good plan. Randvi, take a break. Let us make for Grandbridgeshire and get you out of this musty room. Do you mean now? Right now? Of course. You said you were tired of all this, so why not stretch your legs and fill your lungs? Huh. I did ask, didn't I? You're right. Lead away, Eivor. Follow me. Uh, is there Izo char- uh, is there... Is there an Izo character called... I don't think I've come across somebody yet like that. Wait, I'm supposed to ride to Grant or do we take we'll take the long ship today? This trip is for us. Just you and me. Is that a problem? Not at all. This place is kind of far, isn't it? I spend too much of my day in the longhouse. 
We will need to cross the river at some point if we want to enter Grandebridge. If you know a better way, I would love to hear it. Is swimming not an option? You come oh, does she have to get on the wolf? Swimming? I don't know. Uh, are you joking? A boat or a horse would always do, but I'm not opposed to the more traditional methods. We're not we're not swimming there. It's fifteen hundred meters away now. In the show, Ragnar the, uh, is a brother of Uhtred. Uhtred is the main character of the show. Okay, I'm going to have to watch some of these. Let's go, man. Why are we taking like 14 years to ride? Let's go. I'm kind of confused now. Okay, we're going straight. Okay, got it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be honest. This is. Isn't that awful? You think safety awful? To live one's life in so small a pen. Hear stories from you and the scouts without ever venturing further. <laughs> Gods, do you smell that? The earth and the air. Yeah. It is good to be out here. The game's awesome, but like, it, it, the look of the game is fantastic. But like, yeah, some of the issues I've been having has kind of been taken away from the experience. Um, This is just a very fluffy horse. Yep. Eivor, there. What is that? This is where the summer army retreated when Grantobridge was lost. They seem to have resettled the city in full now. <laughs> I did I I didn't comb the horse this morning, that's why. So well by its map, but to see it in person brings a stunning life. A Roman marvel. I will not soon forget this sight. You know what's a downside is I can't pet this I can't pet the your mount. You can't pet your mount. That's the only downside, Alex. And here we are. Welcome to Grand Bridge. We should make our way to the longhouse. Oh, it's bigger than I imagined. Rustic, woody. <laughs> you can't pet it in one out of ten. <laughs> Under Soma's guidance, the summer army built this town up from a small village. They wanted a hub for trade near London and a launching point for incursions into Wessex. Well, it is impressive. Some interesting architectural ideas here, too. Come on. Okay. <laughs> it's been quite a while since I've seen your face around here. I know you, I think. One of Soma's loyal men. Magni, is it? Yeah. Good memory. Good to see you again. This is Randvi. Oh, okay. A dear friend and a sturdy fighter. Well met, Randvi. Evo seems to have a preference for befriending lovely women. You know, I noticed the same thing. Uh, we're I in expected trouble. expected more people about Magni. <laughs> something happened. Soma rounded up some warriors and took them west. She's hoping to open a new trade route with Ox and the Vod. Only now, in times of trouble, I have discovered I am not the surrogate leader I should hope to be. What sort of trouble? Oh, a pack of surly bandits have been kept nearby. To the east of the water's edge. They attack all merchants who travel here by river or road, and word is spreading quickly. It's keeping traders at bay. That could cripple your town if it carries on too long. <laughs> it's crippled me already. The bastards stole my horse yesterday morning. So what will we you... We can take care of them, Magni. And if we don't find your horse, we will steal you a new one. Well, that would ease my mind. <laughs> I have nothing to offer you for this deed, but the bandit surely would. Take from them what you like. Good. Consider the matter handled. Eivor, come. We have a camp to raid. Get off the table. The bandits are camped on the river, he said. East of the wolf's edge. You volunteered us for a fight, Randvi. Is that your idea of a pleasant ride through the country? <laughs> I surprised even myself. 
away from the I mean, table she is a white and but... already you are lusting for blood. A feeling you must know well, no? I have always wanted to experience the world as you do, and now I will. Unless you have a more interesting day planned for us. We will help Magnion clear these bandits. But do not be rash when we find them. The Raven Clan needs your steady hand. Yes, indeed, my lord. I shall follow your order to the letter. <laughs> if I did not know any better, I would say you are teasing me. Oh, certainly not, Eivor Wolf kissed Iron Fisted Drenger. I would never tease one with such commanding authority. <laughs> there, the bandit camp. All right, stay close and do as I do. Rude and externally at the horizon. By all means. <laughs> Oh, I am. You seemed hot for a battle. So here we go. Yeah, you gotta kill some stuff. Come on. Big boy. Missed. I think this zone might be too easy. Hey, she got one. All right. Dude, did she just throw an axe? <laughs> that was wild. Oh, she got... Oh, she's out of here. Okay. Come on, come on. Wait, did I miss? Oh no, I'm just with her. I thought I missed one of the horses. That was a labor. We are champions of Grand Bridge. You know of any other towns that need liberating? You don't think we have had enough drama for one day? <laughs> we should return to the settlement. Or we, yeah. or we could have a drink to celebrate our victory at home. Tekla has all the mead and ale we could want. Eivor, our outing has hardly begun. Find us an alehouse and let us make ourselves at home. Let's return the horse. And if your thirst remains, we'll look around. Or am I returning this horse? Oh, here we go. She's like a barrel roll off the horse. That was awesome. Magni, we solved your bandit problem. Did you? Well done! And did you find my sweet mare? Your horse is outside, waiting for you. Thank the gods she is safe. And thank you, Eivor. And your friend Ramsey, wherever she is. She is here somewhere. Over here. Oh, she found the, she found the bar. Oh, so 